Number three, identify each of the following statements as being most similar to a hypothesis, a law, or a theory, and explain your reasoning. Okay, so I see A, B, and C. I'm going to say A, B, and C. Now, I know that we went over this a little bit in the last um, video, so check out number two of this chapter if you want the full roundabout, but I'm just going to list it over here just for a quick refresher. We should know that hypothesis or hypotheses turn into theories over time and observations will turn into laws over time. Hypothesis is an educated guess, and it will always ask the question, how or why? So how is something happening? Why is something probably happening? That's an educated guess. That's a hypothesis. And if the same thing happens over and over and over again, voila, a theory will be made. Observations is literally what you will observe with your eyes, and it answers the question of what, what is happening. Uh, I don't know. My stomach's growling. What's growling? My stomach when I'm hungry. And if the same observations are happening over and over and over again, it will turn into a law. So just know these things. So hypothesis is the guess. It turns into a theory. Observations will turn into laws. So let's look at this. Letter A. The pressure of a sample of gas is directly proportional to the temperature of the gas. Mm, doesn't really sound like a guess, right? Seems like we're way past that. So it wouldn't be a hypothesis. Now we just got to figure out if it's a law or a theory. Is it asking what's going on or can we say what's going on or how or why? Let's see. The pressure of a sample of gas is directly proportional to the temperature of a gas. Well, what's directly proportional? Oh, the pressure. You see how you can answer a what question here. Doesn't answer anything about how something is happening or why something's happening. It's just telling you what's going on. So this would be a, you got it, it's a law. B. Matter consists of tiny particles that can combine in specific ratios to form substance, sorry, substances with specific properties. So once again, let's see, does it sound like a hypothesis? Does it sound like an educated guess? Not to me, it doesn't. It's more in depth. So now we just got to figure out, is it a law or is it a theory? Matter consists of tiny particles that will combine in specific ratios to form substances with specific properties. Hmm. This one is all about a theory. So this is asking why or how something is happening. Matter consists of tiny particles that can be combined and it's based off of a hypothesis. So this is completely, after time and time again, it was a hypothesis, which turned into a theory. Okay, last one. At a higher temperature, solids, such as salt or sugar, will dissolve better in water. Hmm. This one sounds like an educated guess. At higher temperatures, solids will dissolve better in water. Well, could, could not be. It's an educated guess. So therefore, this is a hypothesis. But over time, if the question keeps getting answered in the same exact way, it will turn into a theory. So just key in on the specific wordings of the questions and just know that your differences between hypothesis, theories, or laws. All right, guys, this answer is number three. Thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe if it helped you. 
and I will see you all in the next lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.